yesterday we rang in the first day of summer with some extremely hot temperatures. It was the hottest day here in Lima that we have had in about 10 years. You have to go back to September 10th of 2013. That is the last time we saw numbers get this high. In fact, Toledo made it all the way to the century mark. Again, the first time they have seen that temperature that high. You have to go back to 2012. So boy, we are certainly seeing some record territory heat across the area. As we look at the numbers here, again, the record yesterday was 98. So we did beat that record. That record was set back in 1933. So almost 90 years ago, so again, some pretty impressive stuff there when we look at the temperatures yesterday and this morning. It is plenty warm out there. The saving grace, though, has been that lower humidity. You know, yesterday, even though it was about around 100 outside, the heat index was not any higher than that. So it could be a lot worse. Last week, we had lower temperatures, but we had higher heat index temperatures. At one point last week, we had heat index temperatures around 110, so it's a little better than that. As we look at temperatures this morning, well up into the 70s, 76 in Lima. We have 77 in Chicago. Uh, the Chicago Midway Airport hit 100 for the third time in a week yesterday, so Chicago has really seen that hot weather here uh, lately. And we look at cooler temperatures to the north. It's cooler because there's a cold front on the way, and that's good news. We are looking at a cooling trend in temperatures. Not a substantial cool down, but we'll take any cool down that we can get, and it will cool down a bit for the end of the work week here. Notice the front this morning situated over parts of Illinois, Indiana, Michigan. Not a lot of moisture with it, just like last week when that front came through. We did not see any rain with that front. It's a very similar situation here. Most likely we will stay dry today. There's a slight chance for a pop-up shower or storm. Areas here in that light green shading is where there's at least a chance see one or two of those pop-ups today, but most of that is going to stay well to our south. Initially, we were in that marginal threat for storms, but everything has kind of shifted south. It really has to do with the speed of the front. You know, that front's going get to get in here too quick today, so by the time you get into the peak heating of the day, uh, really that unstable atmosphere will end up being south of us because we're already going to see drier air returning as we go deeper on through the day. So temperature-wise, it's still hot for us. I do want to point that out here. Temperature's already around 90 at midday. As we go throughout the afternoon, here's 330. Temperature's around 94 degrees. And we do see a few showers, possibly as close as the Bell Fountain area, but we notice really that trigger for the storms is that front, and that front really is going to be pushing south. So the southern part of the state will have a lot of humidity, and that's really what makes the atmosphere unstable to bubble up these storms. But for us, we got a northwest wind coming down, and that's going to bring back some drier air. So it's going to be mainly just hot and dry for us today. And as we make our way throughout tonight, we are looking at, again, temperatures cooling down behind the cold front. Instead of the 70s, we are looking at 60s as we head into Thursday morning and tomorrow will be a very nice day with a very comfortable dry air mass and will be pleasantly warm on Thursday. We should see temperatures back into the middle 80s. We're also watching this pattern because boy it has dried out quickly. And I know some areas early last week got hit hard with a lot of rain but other areas not so much and with this pattern when you have a lot of sunny days in a row with low humidity and this time of year with the long daylight, you get a lot of evaporation. You can go into dry conditions pretty fast. And the National Weather Service is discussing that we could go into a flash drought scenario if this pattern continues as the outlook is showing for about the next 10 days. Very little in the way of rain. So uh, the sprinklers will get a workout here if you want to keep that lawn nice and green. And you're going to have to apply some water here because the uh, forecast is not giving us much rain. We are looking at lots of sunshine, though. It's kind of a desert-like forecast for us with low humidity, sunshine. That'll be nice, though. Temperatures in the 80s Thursday and Friday. Back up into the 90s on Saturday. Then another star, uh, moisture-starved cold front will come through on Sunday, bringing us sunshine and cooler temperatures as we head into early next week. It'll seem almost cool today after yesterday, won't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Crazy. All right, thank you, Nathan.